Danielle here again, head trainer for Train Your Pup. And what we're going to be learning today is catching the calm, which is essentially rewarding your dog for calm behavior, like laying down. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice this in a variety of different locations, like your living room, your front porch, as well as at the park or at your kids' games. To start off, what we're going to do, as we usually recommend practicing in your living room while watching TV. And all you're going to do is you're going to have your dog either on a leash or tethered, and you're just going to sit with your dog. <clears throat> when your dog offers a calming behavior, like relaxing, sitting down, laying down, you're going to go ahead and toss them a treat like it had just appeared out of nowhere. Essentially, we don't want to give the dog a treat because we don't want them begging to you for that treat. So we're just going to wait for Mila to give me some sort of calm behavior where she's not sniffing around and milling around and things like that or asking for attention or anything like that. We're going to wait until she just gives me some sort of relaxed behavior. Like so, she's not really pestering me, she's not digging around, anything like that. I'm just going to drop the treat on the ground. If she doesn't see it, that's fine. They will eventually see that treat. And like I said, we're going to practice this at a variety of different times and locations. The best time to practice this, like we said, was in the living room. But then you also want to make it more challenging and practice it, let's say, when people come over. So you have your dog tethered, someone comes in the door, and you just ignore the dog until the dog offers a sit or a lie down. At that time, the person then goes over to the person, goes over to the dog, and begins to pet him or her. That is a great way to practice your dog being calm for visitors. So we're going to see if Mila offers a sit or a down, which she did. That's very good. I'm going to drop a couple on the ground here. Make sure you do not ask for that sit or down. You want your dog to find this solution on their own. Because when dogs figure out solutions on their own, they tend to remember them for a longer period of time. And what we're teaching Mila here is when I'm sitting quietly, just kind of chilling out, I want her to lay down and be calm. Now, as your dog gets better at this, as you notice, she started to lay down, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to gradually increase the amount of time in between treats. So at first, I'm immediately giving her a treat for laying down. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to treat her until she's laying down for about 15 or 20 seconds. And I'm going to do that a couple times. There you go. On that one, she actually stayed laying down. So now I'm going to wait about 30 seconds to give her a treat. And then from there, I'm going to vary how often I give her a treat. Sometimes every 20 seconds, sometimes every minute, sometimes every two minutes, and then going back to 30 seconds. So we do want to vary the amount of time that we give them a reward. Now let's say a major distraction comes in. So let's say a dog walks by, okay? Your dog obviously is going to get up and either whine or bark or just be excited to see that dog. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start this exercise all over again. Okay, so just remember that you don't want to go back to asking for something more when your dog was distracted. Mila's doing a great job here. It is common at first for the dog to pop up and that's okay. But we do want to make sure that we then wait for her to, to go back to that down. There we go. She says, I understand this game. So now I'm going to wait once again for her to lay down and stay laying down for about 15 to 20 seconds. You can also practice this with a bed. So let's say you have your dog tethered next to the couch. You can put a bed there and instead of treating your dog on the floor, you would actually put the treats on the bed. That will encourage your dog to go to the bed and not just lay on the floor. Good luck in class, everyone. 